uh, I'm just about ready to have Hannibal Lecter around for dinner. Uh, it'll be vegan, which probably he won't like. When a story comes along, I tend to uh, meditate on it a little while, see where it seems to fit. And the more I developed uh, Jericho, the more clear it became to me that this wanted to be a game. You are essentially making your way through the layers of a huge corrupted onion. Yeah. <laughs> uh, in which each skin represents a period of time in which uh, a group of, of, of essentially doomed individuals, people who know they're not, they're not going to get out of this alive, go up fighting, uh, not simply as soldiers, but fighting for their souls and for the soul of the planet. I won't say even the life of the planet. I want to say the soul of the planet because this thing isn't just the fucking scary. Uh, it has a handle on what our frailties are as human beings, what is going on in our heads. There's a ring of crusaders who, who they have to battle their way through because those crusaders are actually under the influence of the power. And they've been in there living with their own corruption and with their own, not even sure whether they're alive or dead, not even sure whether they're dreaming this or whether this is reality. And it's up to you to, to, uh, to get in there and, and, and shape the destinies uh, or the deaths uh, of, of these characters. is, well, what is evil? We have very complicated responses to evil. Uh, everybody knows who Charlie Manson is, I have to assume. I am certainly in California anyway. Uh, uh, but, I, you know, e evil people tend to walk away with the headlines. They tend to walk away with very large parts of, 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 of the history books. And, and a lot of times, evil is, uh, one man's evil is another man's good. This isn't, in other words, a zombie walks towards you, you blow off its head, and when it falls over, oh, there's another zombie behind him. It, you know, that stuff, you know, had its place with, with trying for something else. The villain, and this is to me, essential is very very smart smart villains fascinate us uh hannibal lecter is probably the the, the the strongest example but uh pinhead from the hellraiser movies i think he gives you the impression though he speaks briefly that he's a pretty a pretty smart guy uh my villains tend to tend to have a lot of reasons for doing what they're doing. Eloquent evil. Eloquent <laughs> evil. There you go. You talk a lot about research and mythology of Jericho. Let's say you were teaching a class on Jericho. What would be on the syllabus? The forbidden, uh, uh, taboo. Uh, why we are cruel? What is it in humanity that makes us 
capable of such extraordinary violence uh, and then able to go home, wash our hands and play with our grandkids. Mm. And uh, the third thing would be uh, the history of the devil. When all of a sudden knowing the player has gone through and experienced Jericho, finished the game, what do you want them to walk away with after they finished it? I hope they won't be able to walk away because <laughs> There'll be a puddle of urine around them and they'll slip on their asses.